Pete here with the smallbusinessresourcecenter.com. Today I want to give a couple business tips and explain a few things. Basically, this is the Small Business Resource Center. We are here to give people advice on business, tips on how to grow your business, and because of the coronavirus, a lot of information on business news and the coronavirus. Um, when you're starting a new business, this is the business tip. The one most important thing is try to focus on positivity and getting bad reviews and negative things, even though they're warranted or not, sometimes they're coming from opponents or people that don't want you to succeed. That's a sad fact of life. And sometimes they're accidents. Um, when I was at Keller Williams Realty Elite, I actually had a high ranking website and I was actually doing very well. So I also had a Google business page. When I had that Google business page, sadly, one of my reviews was from somebody who actually were trying to review another agent, but they just Googled the company, found me, then they put, don't use. And they wrote a very negative review. They gave one star and it was a very long, terrible review. First of all, I when the review popped up, because of course Google notifies you, I tried to dispute the review with Google and for some reason, I don't understand why Google refused to take the review down. And I said, you gotta realize that they're not even talking about me. It says don't use two specific people, which are not me. Um, despite it being an accident, they would not take it off. <laughs> so. Uh, but when you have a new business, people don't always read every single review. And if they're looking at the stars, keep in mind if you had one five-star review and a one star, then that narrows you down to three. Some people can look at that as a, a negative thing. Basically, the business tip is when you're a small business and you're just starting, it's very important that your message is clear and that the people supporting you are, are being you know, uplifted and the haters or especially bad reviews or bad information that's being put out with you is silenced quickly because that can cause a huge negative effect in what you're doing if people are promoting you in a negative fashion that is not true avoiding it doesn't fix the problem uh, because of that the porn person got blocked and i also did something negative which was make it so people couldn't point it put inappropriate comments. And I've changed that, like I said, because it was blocking people that I didn't think were inappropriate and I didn't realize it. And the second thing that I did, of course, is I blocked the other person who also I don't know, who are, who's trying to paint me in a negative fashion, which didn't even really make sense. But I even told the person I commented, you know, if you're not really here for why I'm making this site, just go somewhere else, you know? Everybody has a choice. If you're not happy, go somewhere else. So anyways, that's that's the tip of the day. And as you can see, I'm going to go more over. So um, for, face, for, for YouTube, I should say, I started off with YouTube making car videos for car stuff I liked. Also advertising homes. But uh, unlike a normal quote unquote YouTuber, I didn't really use it for business building. What I did is I just made my videos, advertised them where I wanted to, and I was happy with that. So of course, fast forward to today, I should say, or maybe months ago, I started the Small Business Resource Center website. It took almost a year to develop. Now I developed it, and then I started making a YouTube channel to help promote it more. That was my next step part of the, the plan here. And of course, now that this coronavirus thing hit, starting a new YouTube channel, I might have had a couple people I knew, started growing it, and one of the first followers happened to be just, I don't know if it was a fake account or somebody who didn't want me to post things, but every time I post a video, they would probably post porn links. That's actually what they were doing. So what I did is I, <laughs> made it so you can only have like uh, inappropriate comments were being blocked. I don't understand YouTube's algorithm because it seemed like it posts, it, it blocked a lot of comments from people that I did not personally feel were inappropriate. And I don't believe in censorship. And then I 
um, actually recently just turned that feature off because it's kind of bad if you have people who are posting things, you know, and then they're being blocked and I don't even realize they're being blocked because, you know, if you're if somebody who wants to communicate with you or post something gets blocked, they probably find that as being negative. But I definitely had some people that uh, I would have to think were purposely clicking unlike on my videos because it seemed like a lot of times I'd post videos, which I would say are positive, but then I would always get one or two dislikes. I'm like, well, why is somebody disliking this video? They're about business growth. They're about, uh, you know, fixing problems. I know some of them mentioned Governor Wolf. Maybe they don't like Wolf. So I was trying to just figure this out. And then recently, somebody who watches my videos, um, well, actually, fast forward back, somebody even posted where I post a link on Facebook. This person's trying to be a YouTuber. Don't watch his videos. And I'm like, well, isn't the whole point of having any business, of creating a business and generating money? Um, my, when you, you want to use the word YouTuber, if, if I really wanted to make a YouTube channel to strictly generate money and not provide any value, I would not be doing what I'm doing. I, don't, I, I didn't even mention the fact that I sold real estate for quite some time, but that's because it's pretty much inevitable. People were looking me up. People actually looked me up even though I didn't have any phone numbers and said, thank you for making this video. It helped me get my unemployment approved. It helped me do this. It helped me do that. And some people even said, hey, I can't find your phone number. I watched the video a couple of times and I, I need more help. And I've actually met with some of those people when they were in the local area and said, okay, I, I don't mind meeting with you, um, you know, as long as you can do it in my schedule and I can explain this better. Everyone's not tech savvy. So when you're looking at that and you're saying, well, you know, what, what is your goal here? Everybody's goal is to make money. Let's not be foolish, <laughs> right? <laughs> If I, uh, but the whole, if, if I wanted to strictly do this to make money, I could easily be making stupid gold digger prank videos, stupid, hey, I'm hiding in Walmart videos. Those get millions of views. They're completely idiotic. They're all fake, but they get lots of views. I have no intention of doing that. Everything I provide is being done for the sole purpose of trying to provide value to the people watching. So if that's what you want, Smash a like button, subscribe, and share this information because that's what I'm doing. For a lot of the videos I do, if you're saying, can I guarantee everything's 100% accurate? Absolutely not. Nobody can do that. Everything's done. What I would have to say is my best guess, and a lot of it has been very accurate. Like when I posted the $3 trillion stimulus package, I said this is not going to happen. And I actually did say that I thought it was going to get something done in around two weeks uh, simply because the last time they did, they wanted to do it quickly. And they were stating they wanted this to get done quickly. So I said, it's probably gonna be two weeks, maybe three. But then when they update it and say, it's probably gonna be July, I made a video for that. I do not post every single stimulus package that they put out there. And you know why? Because most of it is complete bullshit. Some of the ones that they do post, I did mention because I thought they were good and thought they would gain some momentum, but I mentioned they might not be real. You know, this is honest content. And when you start a business, when we're going to that, I had someone recently post that, you know, I'm posting clickbait. Going back to what I just told you, if I wanted to post clickbait, I can easily find content that would generate many more views than what I'm posting. I have no intention of doing that because I think it's all garbage. <laughs> So, like I mentioned here, this is a small business resource center. If you need help, comment below. If you have questions, comment below. Like and subscribe and share this. I'm trying to provide content that's gonna be helpful. No one's gonna ever be able to guarantee you they're, they're gonna be able to give you 100% accurate information unless they're gonna wait for the news to happen and then tell that. But you know, when you're looking at things like the EIDL, and the PPP loan, those things ran out of funding real quick. They're changing things. So I have to be proactive. That's why I'm giving you news proactively. If they say they're gonna do something in a week or two weeks, that's what I'm gonna tell you. If that's what I'm speculating, that's what I'm gonna tell you. It's being done to 
provide the information as quick as possible so you can be ready. If that's not what you're here for, go somewhere else. It's not going to bother me. And just to let you know, there's a lot of YouTubers who I shouldn't even use that word. They have YouTube channels. They provide value, a lot of good information, but sometimes they're actually just redoing the same videos over and over again. And I don't do that because I just feel I don't have the need to do it. Hopefully you saw my video the first time, but th that generates a lot of views and it grows the channel quicker for them. YouTube actually likes that. I don't like it because I don't have time for it. And personally, somebody keeps sending me the same video, you know, because they have nothing new to say, but they just change it and, and do that five or six times a week. I, I actually want to watch them less. That's how I personally feel. I don't have time for that, you know. <laughs> Hopefully you feel the same way and that's why you're all subscribing. But either way, I just wanted to make note because there's only two people, the porn thing, person who kept posting the porn links and now this other one who wanted to just, and it may have been the same person on Facebook, I don't know. Because of course, a lot of these names are, are fake when they have them here. They're posting that, you know, my video, I'm making videos for clickbait I'm, I can, trust me, I can come up with better clickbait topics than helping business people. It's such a narrow topic. So anyways, I hope you agree. Just want to make myself clear so everybody knows why I made this channel and why I'm here. Yes, of course, I have a business help website, but, uh, you know, if you need help, smash a like button, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you need, and hopefully I'll be providing content that you're looking for. I know a lot of people, I shouldn't say a lot, a couple people posted in, in my uh, feeds that they need help with a specific topic. I made a video because I had the time to do it quickly and I hope it helped them. So that's why we're here. It's Sunday, have a great day and watch out for the EIDL. It is gonna be making changes soon. Have a great day.